Hello, so this is Zara coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. It's been a little while since I've vlogged, and uh, I came across some verses that um, were quite interesting. It made me think about just friendships and relationships and life, the people we meet, and when we go places, and, you know, those who know me know I can be a little bit of a social butterfly. No, that's an understatement. I am a social butterfly. I love people, so I'm always talking and engaging with strangers, and um, I was definitely that little girl that didn't really take the whole don't talk to strangers um, too seriously, because I thought, well, if we're all children of God, then nobody's a stranger, right? But, uh, yeah, kids do not take that advice. It's not necessarily the smartest, but I definitely have had God's favor, so I'm alive in here today and uh, have never been in any crazy situations based off of people that I've met. So one of the verses that I wanted to share is Proverbs 11:14, and it is where there is no guidance a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. So I've read that a couple of times and it really made me think about how we are so blessed to have the close relationships that we have. I mean, if you have great parents, um, a good father, mother, grandmother, someone in your family who's always there for you to give you advice. Like that person is a blessing direct from God to help you move forward. Somebody who's been through life struggles and through situations that their story is able to give you guidance and be um, a, just a direct reminder of like things that work and things that may not work. Of course, we are in situations where we're going to do our own thing and we're going to make our own mistakes, but the beautiful thing about having elders in your life or friends that have had different situations take place and happen to them is that we can learn from it. Our tests are really for our testimonies, and I know that's something I say all the time, but I truly believe that. Where it says, you know, where there's no guidance of people falls, it's because if you're relying on your own understanding all of the time, you really only know so much. Like, you're you're trapped in this box then, and you almost feel like you know everything, but that's not the case because you haven't traveled everywhere in the world. You haven't experienced different um, situations as much as, like, all the different types of friends you may end up making have, and you can learn something from them. And God has put us in a situation where there's a whole world of people, you know, for us to just meet and get to know and... You know, especially, like, in the church and outside of the church. I mean, these are just places for us to meet. The world is really our church. The church is outside of the... the well, the world is not our church. Let me take that back. <laughs> um, in the sense of... But it's more of, like, I just feel like the church is within us. God is within us. Our religion is is to believe in Christ, our relationship with Christ. That If you can't make it to church... And any Sunday doesn't mean that you're any less of a Christian because of the search, the circumstance that you're in. It just means that you cannot end up in this. You, you're not ending up in a place on Sunday where people come together to worship. Granted, I love going to church, but if I can't make it, I don't think I'm any less of a Christian. Or because I'm not there, my mom always raised me to believe that the church is within you. The Bible is the church. Your your faith and your relationship with Christ is, is the church in itself. And it's this, this ground where you come together with more than one person to share a ministry, to share the gospel, which is the good news. And um, and that's what that's all about. You know, like that's where the guidance come from is from talking to other people that, I mean, we're because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. So, therefore, if we're all brothers and sisters in Christ and we all go through different experiences, then our stories can help one another in order to better one another. And um, then it goes on to saying, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. If you're around a lot of people that have been through different things and they're able to be like, okay, I've touched the, the stove before and when you touch the stove it's really hot, so I don't recommend you touching the stove, you could either be that person that's going to touch the stove to figure out if it's hot or not, or you could be the, the person that actually listens and decides you're not going to touch the stove because, you know what, they touched it and they said it was hot, so they must know. They have the burns to prove it, so I don't need to go ahead and try to do it myself. Granted, there are some of us that will, but that's just the human nature. We tend to have to do things on our own in order to learn. And um, my mom used to say it just like this, those don't... Those who don't hear will feel, and those who feel will know. 
And, um, you know, that's exactly true. If you don't hear, if you don't listen, then you'll learn for yourself because you'll go through it. And the next verse is Proverbs 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. So, what, what does that mean? A friend loves at all times. I believe that, honestly, I feel like friends are like angels sent down on, on earth from heaven. Like, you know, like, I feel like the people that have, I've co that have come across my life at whatever time frame have been in my life for a reason. Regardless of how they've left, I can honestly say that if I've ever called you a friend, I will always love you. We may not still be as close as we once were, but it doesn't disregard the love that I've had for you. If if someone has had a friend and there's a bad falling out, it happened for a reason. You learn from that mistake. You learn from the situation. You forgive yourself. You repent and you, you move forward. doesn't mean that the love loss is there, but it was a point in time, a situation that you learn from and you grow from because... I mean, all relationships and friendships don't necessarily last, but it doesn't mean that you leave the situation with malice. You don't leave the situation feeling um, much grieved because though people come into your life for a reason and people leave your life for a reason. And there is a reason why people come and go, and God is just preparing us for the next. And that's one of the, re the ways that I know that I look at it, but I know that a true friend loves you through thick and thin. They're always there for you regardless. Regardless. And that's how you know whether a person is a true friend or not. If they drop you when you're down, they're not a true friend. If they're only with you when you're up, they're not a true friend. And um, those are things to watch for. You know, those are things to, to kind of pray about. And Because who you let in your life can really affect the things that take place in your life. So it's definitely something to, to take note of. And um, the second part of that, though, says, and a brother is born for adversity. I know I have certain friends that are like brothers and sisters that are just like, I, I mean, it's technically water, but they're definitely like blood friendships. Like, through thick and thin, they're there. No matter what they do or how upset they make, make me feel, like, I will always be there. They will never go away. They're never going to get rid of me. Um, but they're just with me because, like, what they say, when you are of the same bloodline, there was not, no matter how much deceit or adversity comes your way, it still will not separate the fact that we have the same blood. We, we share the same parents. We share the same history of, um, you know, of family history and, and culture and all those different things because we share that same blood. We're brothers and sisters. And while you do have your, you know, your parents that you might be born from, we also have our Heavenly Father, and therefore all of us are brothers and sisters in Christ, and therefore we should try to adopt that unconditional love for people. And um, I, I, I've seen a lot of that. I've se I'm seeing it even more. A lot of these organizations and foundations that are created are created to help people, and people have taken the outskirts of, well, she ain't family, or, you know, he's not my close friend away, but people are generally helping people that are strangers, people that are just in need, and that's what God wants us to do, is to to be there for mankind, to be there for one another, to uplift, to empower, to encourage, and to enrich one another's lives, so that we could better others, while also bettering ourselves, that unconditional love that he has, like, it's so unreal, like, you know, like, it's, it's almost like, is, is it, is it possible to really have unconditional love like that? No matter what you do or no matter how hurtful you are to someone else or even to yourself, God loves you and that never changes. He loves who you are for, for what you are and even when you make mistakes, He still loves you. Granted, just there's consequences for our actions and things happen and sometimes we go through things, but He still loves us. And that's one thing that I know that I will always keep with me and I remind myself of all the time is that God loves me. And regardless of what may take place in my life, regardless of how down I may feel or things, if I've done things that I know I probably shouldn't have done but I still have engaged in, like I can't beat myself up over it. I just have to say, you know what, God, I'm sorry, but I love you and I know that you love me. And, and knowing that, I, like, it, just, it just makes me so happy. 
so happy to know that he will always be by my side and he will always be watching over me. And that in itself is just a blessing. So I just wanted to share that. This is a long blog to blog today. But that was it. So the two verses I read were Proverbs 11:14 and Proverbs 17:17, 17, 17. and it's about the importance of friendships and the people in your life are there for a reason. The people that end up leaving your life are gone for a reason. So just keep moving in faith, keep trusting in God because at the end of the day, he's the one person that will always be in your life and will never leave your side. Even if you choose to go astray, he will always be there. So love you all. Have a great week and keep moving in faith. Mwah.